Right, welcome back to the channel guys and I was taken aback when I found out that Konami have taken a minute to concentrate on a brand new shooter rather than Pachenko games. Now before we get into this and have a look at the game, please consider taking the time to subscribe to the channel, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us a share, leave a comment, get active and hit that bell notification so that you know as and when I'm going to be uploading content. So Signy, can you believe it? Konami, one of the most legendary companies in this genre. I've got a pretty new shoot 'em up out. Now, my friend Hyper Trigger X put me onto this. I had no idea this was coming out. So when I saw it at a relatively cheap price of £22, it was a no-brainer for me. Now, admittedly, before I shot this video, I had one quick go of this game and I played it on medium and it absolutely handed my ass to me. I then went and watched a few YouTube channels and a couple of channels actually recommended starting out on easy. So uh, yeah, like I said, admittedly I'm gonna do so and we're gonna take the training, which you can see now on the screen. Now I do like this. I didn't try the training out before. I went straight in raw and like I said, I got my ass handed to me. So the training here, as you can see, they're doing it in they're doing it in the style of an old 80s game, which is a really lovely touch. Now I've been going through this training, and I've got to admit, this is a fairly complex training mode for what I was initially led to believe was just going to be a shoot 'em up your standard fare, um, but in a more modern look. Anyway, I don't think I've still got a clue as to what's going on, but I do now know what button does what. Therefore, let's try this game out and see if Konami are back with a bang. <coughs> Hold on, where did that come from? Oh, I've never seen nothing like that in a schmuck before. Now the animation here, it's, it's got very much um, a Pixar look, if you ask me, just on first impressions. It's absolutely great to look at. It kind of gives you a brief overline um, of the story of the game, which, in all honesty, it's a shoot 'em up. I don't care for the story. I just know I have to kill whatever's in front of me. But it's a nice bonus that they've got that. I've seen one or two videos complaining, saying that that really didn't flesh out the story. What are you talking about? It's a schmop. Now, like I said earlier, it looks fantastic. It definitely has that look of a next-gen game. And I love how it transitions from what you just saw straight into the gameplay. So just to let you guys know, your trigger buttons on your PlayStation 5 controller 
are going to be your primary shoot buttons on this. I went into it like a complete 80s and 90s guy, keeping my finger on the X button, thinking, yep, standard, that's going to be what you shoot with. Um, I ended up using all of my bombs, because that is a bomb button straight away, and I didn't last very long. And one thing I noticed as well, is that if you play on anything other than the easy difficulty, which I'm on now, once you die, you go all the way back. I don't think that's the case if you die and you play on easy. You stay where you are until you run out of lives. Now that's one thing I don't like about shmups, is that when you die, you have to go back. Um, there's lots of shmups out there that I like that have that mechanic to it, but it's not my preferred way of doing things. Look at something like R-Type, um, you die, and yeah, you end up coming back to a checkpoint. I love R-Type, but I don't like that way of doing things. Another shoot em up as well has the same mechanic, which is Saint Dragon. And that's the main reason I've never finished a game like that, even with save states. Cheeky little plug there, Saint Dragon will be um, part of my um, unfinished business series in the near future. Now as for the gameplay on this, really smooth, controls brilliantly. Um, it's fast paced as you can see here, it's almost got an element of bullet hell to it at times. But it's quite forgiving in that you don't die after one hit. Now I think the uh, graphics on this game, the artwork, it's fantastic, it's stunning. I mean, if you take the time to look at the backgrounds, you can see the ongoing war taking place below. Uh, not that you've got much time to actually do that, but you can see it going on. Now the only um, negative I would say about that is that it's quite dark. And the backgrounds at times, they can put you off. There's a lot going on on that screen. And yeah, of course you're going to want beautiful, stunning backgrounds. But in all honesty, it can put you off. There's a lot going on. And if you want to try and take it all in, that's not really possible. I don't think so anyway. I mean, it's moments like this where it quietens down that you can truly appreciate what is going on on screen um, absolutely stunning not what we're really used to in the world of shmups so this is definitely progress in that area now by saying that i don't mean that we haven't got some amazing looking games in this genre of course we have um gradius 5 on a ps2 to me, that game was well ahead of its time. But there's such a lack of these games that I don't think we've been able to see the progress implemented into this genre that much. And before anyone goes off at me and shows me a whole list of smucks that have been released over the last five to 10 years, I'm fully aware of that. I'm more so aiming at mainstream companies releasing on next-gen systems with games that are released across the board, not just indies, not just limited releases or stuff like that. I mean, in the UK, you can pick this game up
from shops like Argos. Now, despite that intense, shall we say, training regiment that I had at the beginning of the game, I'll be honest with you, at this time as I'm playing it, I'm enjoying it, I don't quite know what my objective is in terms of what's on the screen. I mean, is this the end of level boss? Or is it just another section? I mean, it definitely looks like it could potentially be an end of level boss. It looks quite significant. It's got size. Um, it's menacing. But yeah, it's quite early into the level as well. Now, I'll tell you, I'm definitely a glutton for punishment. At my age, my reflexes are pretty much, I wouldn't say they're shot, but obviously they're not going to be improving. And here I am, still enjoying, still playing shoot em ups. Now, as I said earlier, it's a real distraction. I can't help but look at the backgrounds and what's going on in terms of the war that you're supposed to be fighting. It's absolutely stunning. I know I've said it four or five times now, but I'm so, so impressed. It's not like we get to play games in this genre that often that look truly next-gen. I most definitely should have paid more attention to that uh, 
training regime. It's not a bad tactic in all honesty. Bullets flying everywhere, just go hide in the corner. If it works, I'm gonna take that option. Now, if you think the bullets are absolutely crazy at any point whilst you're watching this video, trust me, like I've said, this is on easy. You put it on medium, it's absolutely bonkers. And like I say, you go straight back to the beginning of the level if you die. That actually scares me. <laughs> I think I'll stick to it on the easy mode uh, for the foreseeable future. Mission failed. Now I have to say, I really, really enjoyed that short bit of gameplay. Are Konami back? Will this game be successful? Let's hope so, because I'd love to see more games like this be released for your mainstream systems, their next-gen consoles. Um, definitely a game I'm going to be spending more time with in the near future. Definitely need to learn more about it and pay more attention to that training mode than I did initially. Like I said, it does seem to be a lot more to it than your average schmuck, um, but that's something I can learn no problem, and I'm willing to. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take the time, give us a like, give us a share, give us a sub, and I'll see you next time.